Hi everyone, we're in Hanford, California today, and we're heading into the Goodwill to see what we can find. I'm starting off in the dish section because I always look for transferware. We thought this Bob Ross Chia Pet was so great, we just had to show it to you. I saw these fa la 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 uh, dip bowls and they were so cute, I thought. I really contemplated getting them. They are from a, a store called St. Nicholas Square and I've seen them online on eBay for like about $13 per plate, but of per bowl, but none sold. So I wasn't sure about getting them. I did, however, see two things here. One is the Johnson Brothers platter here, and that's in a transferware a design that I currently have. A whole bunch of those for my spring decor, and I did pick up those those uh, temptation bowls uh, rather plates um, but I don't think that they uh, sell very well and I did pick this up because I just thought it looked like bleak it's not but it it was a shell cup and I thought it was really cute This was a Wexford pitcher, and if I didn't already have several clear glass pitchers, I would have gotten that one. Every time I see these Sunday glasses I always pick them up uh, to look at them because it, just for the nostalgia of remember the ice cream soda fountains um, I just think they're really fun and my husband never lets me get them because he says it's too much of a temptation to have ice cream sundaes at home but I think it would be fun to have the whole family get together and have a Sunday night I was looking at this green bowl, hoping that it was fire and light. I really don't believe it was, but I thought it was still very cute. It had that like bronze owl uh, attached to it. I did get this divided platter. I thought it was so pretty and it looks as though it's from some artist, handmade, you know, by an artist and it, because it had the signature in the back and I just couldn't find who made it, but it was so pretty. These are California pottery uh, made in the USA. They just reminded me of my McCoy ramekins that uh, they're the brown drip glaze uh, McCoy ramekins that my dad left me. And 
these just reminded me of that so I thought that would be kind of cool all put together uh, with a set because I also have a whole coffee pot that resembles that as well it's the brown drip glaze I found this Ray Dunn mini loaf pan that I thought was adorable I love that color and I think it would be perfect to bake some of my delicious banana nut bread to put in it and give it to someone for Christmas Valentine's Day is coming up or really any time of the year look for my banana nut bread video it's really delicious I got this little umbrella for my grandchildren because they love Mario Brothers. My husband spotted this bowl that I believe is a mortar but it is so cool. It has a little spout and I bought it because I just love it. I think it's great. It's perfect for putting your hot bacon grease in it because you don't have to worry about it breaking because it's made out of stone. I saw this little vintage uh, tin box and I just thought it was adorable. I contemplated getting it. It rode around in my cart for a while, but I think at the end I decided to put it back because it was a little rusty.
I found these witches boots and I just thought they were so cute for Halloween this is gonna be perfect I'm not sure why I didn't get this little red bunny. I'm kind of regretting it now. Please make sure to like and subscribe. There is no cost to you for subscribing, but it does help out my channel. And please stay through to the end of the video where I show you everything we purchased. This store has some really great board games, and my family loves to play board games. Next, we went to the Salvation Army in Clovis, California.
I saw this cup and it really caught my eye because it was made by an artist uh, and I know that because it is so unique uh, it looks like it was hand painted and it's really fun Look at how fun I found Nordic wear. And this is so cute. This is adorable. Uh, it's got these little birds. Uh, I think they're chicks and perfect for Easter. Oh my goodness, this was glistening so beautifully. It's a Russian egg. It's it's etched and it's lead crystal and it is beautiful. Hi everyone, we're back home now with all our goodies and we found some really great things. Starting off with this shell cup that resembles Balik. It's not Balik, but it would go great with the Balik Neptune pattern. And as you can see, I paid 99 cents for it. Next is this really fun vintage Puff the Magic Dragon mug made in 1980 by the Japanese company called Kwan Kwan. I think it's made beautifully and I paid 99 cents for it as well. Okay, these were just adorable. I can't wait to display them next Halloween. I think they're going to be perfect for my Halloween decor, and I paid 99 cents a piece. This little creamer is beautiful in my opinion, and it's by Mary Englebright, and there is absolutely no damage to it, and I paid $1.99. I thought this little Ray Dunn loaf pan would be perfect for my banana nut bread to give to a special family and I paid $1.99. These brown drip glaze cups were so pretty. They're vintage and they're made in the US, probably California pottery, but I don't know which company made them. Many of the pottery companies like Hull, McCoy, and other contemporaries copied each other's work, so it's difficult to tell which company actually made them, but I paid 99 cents a piece, so I was pretty happy. Sadly, I didn't realize that it, one of them was broken, so I ended up having to throw one away. And the white bit that you see on the cups is just some paint that was stuck onto it so I just scraped that off and it, they were fine. 
My grandkids love Mario Brothers, and when I saw this, I knew I had to get it for them. It was $3.99. Oh my goodness, I love when I come across this Johnson Brothers summer chintz pattern. I have quite a few pieces of it, and I love it. It's perfect for my springtime decor. And I paid 99 cents for this one. When I saw this divided platter, I fell in love. It's so beautiful in my opinion. And I'm completely stumped. It looks Italian to me, but at the same time, I suppose it could be Portuguese or even French. And I love it. I love the flowers. And I particularly love the blue detail on it. And I paid $2.99. If any of you know what it is, please let me know. I picked these frosted berries for my Christmas decor. And I think they're stunning. I think they would really look beautifully if I decorated for Valentine's Day. Um, I don't typically decorate for Valentine's Day, but if you come across something like this, I think it would look really pretty. I paid $1.99, and I'll bet retail they'd be a lot more than that. I love these vintage Upco jack-o'-lanterns. I can just imagine them on my front porch with lights in them. Did I mention I love Halloween? I have such great memories of my kids trick-or-treating, me trick-or-treating, and decorating the house for my kids, dressing them up, and now my baby's getting married. And I only paid $3.99 when I saw this Russian crystal cut glass egg, I ran to it. It glistens so beautifully and I think it's stunning. I can't wait to display it for my Easter decor. And I did pay up a little bit for this. Um, it was $5.99 and I was able to use a 25% coupon. Okay. I don't speak Italian, so please forgive my pronunciation. It's a Branciforti Caltagirone Pigna Ceramiche Pine Cone Shaped Tree. <laughs> it's, it's a pine cone shaped tree. It's an Italian uh, made in Sicily, I believe, and it is so pretty. I picked it up um, just thinking that it was really pretty and that it was interesting and I later found out that it's sold for about a hundred dollars. Um, there were two of them I believe um, and they were for about a hundred dollars each and they, um, they were damaged. They were in nowhere near as good condition as this is. This is in perfect condition. And I, I, it was just so pretty. I picked it up thinking I could use it for maybe my Christmas decor. But um, I don't know. I might be selling this one. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It's really pretty. Oh, my goodness. This was just fun. These little chicks are adorable and it's Nordic wear. They have just a little scuffing on their heads um, or at least just on a few of their heads, but the inside is very good, is in very good condition. And I think that these are going to be so much fun to make cupcakes out of for Easter. I can't wait. And the best part is, I paid $1.99! This Tinkerbell mug is so cute. It shows how it was sketched and then the final product. And I paid $1.99 for it. 
I remember every Sunday night when she would fly across my screen introducing the wonderful world of Disney. I have the fondest memories of that. This mug is so interesting. I just had to get it. It's by Dipperts of Seattle and I think it was specially made for someone. Um, it has the coolest caricatures of different things depicting different interests. It's just so super interesting and it's vintage. This is a brass quail. Enough said, right? Of course I had to get it. It goes perfectly with any decor and I paid $3.99. These are Portuguese Bordallo Pinheiro Frogs on Lily Pads Demitas Cups and Saucers. And all I can say is, wow, wow, these things are so beautiful. I don't normally like to decorate with frogs, but oh my goodness, these are so adorable and they're so nicely made. And I just fell in love with these. These are just, oh, okay, I can't say enough about them. And I bought them for $1.99 a piece. So for a total of $8. If you like the video you saw, click here.